Hey y'all, Iron here, and today we are playing Gold Rush the game. We're back in Alaska and we're digging dirt. So what's going on right now is I'm just actually digging through Rivertown still. Um, nothing crazy enough that I need to do some live commentary on. So I'm going to kind of just feed you through uh, some of the things that have been going on while I'm playing. Um, and just showing you some highlights and stuff like that and talking about what's going on, what's going to happen in the future. So let's go ahead and take a look at the map here. And I'm actually going to finish out the south uh, area where this little uh, five patches of gold are left. Then we're going to move on to the left side where the, all the gold is. We're going to work on digging through that. Work on processing all of that gold and hopefully making a bunch of money and getting out of here. So we're just going to dig through here. And it turns out that it was very shallow <laughs> to get all the gold out of here. I mean, the gold was basically one to two meters down, and that was it. So I was actually ripping through this area very quickly when I was playing through, and I was surprised. I was actually expecting it to last a little bit longer, but I think I ended up digging through this entire area in under, like, mm, I want to say, like, 20, 30 minutes, if even. And that's including taking the truck back and forth. Um, so, yeah, not much to really uh, comment on here. Just kind of just digging my way through. I wish it was a little more... Uh, entertaining explosions and stuff like that but you know really it's just kind of digging and processing at the moment so after I wrapped up that area I decided to move on to um, the west side of the parcel and start working through all the dirt that's there now what I'm thinking as I'm digging this is that I'm going to dig out the, the center line right here I'm gonna dig all this out and I'm going to you know toss the dirt away that's not gold rich dirt because the top layer has nothing in it and then I'm going to create a ramp and back my truck in. And then on the left and right of this area, I'm going to uh, dig out and feed it into the dump truck, which should be in the middle of the two areas. At least that's what I thought I was going to do. We're going to talk about all the craziness that happened while I was trying to set this plan in motion. And it didn't really go the way I thought it was going to. It just became one big disaster. So I decided to just dump the dirt to the left and right because I was like, oh, you know, I'll just be digging it out. And it's not really the play here. <laughs> uh, it turns out that then it makes the land uneven and you got to do a bunch of stuff with it. And you can't really haul it out. It just makes more for you to dig later. So unfortunately, I continue with this process until I'm eventually I get my mind right. And I'm like, you know what? I think we got to do this a different way. So you can see here the gears are turning. I got the one brain cell in my head finally. And I'm like, all right, so I got to bring the dump truck over. So I got some Pay Ridge of Dirt in here, so I just dump it in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the uh, dump truck back after I'm done uh, bouncing it around like it's on a trampoline. But um, let's take a quick look here. So actually what I do decide to do is actually take a look, make sure everything's running uh, correctly. So if it's your first time tuning in, here's what our wash plant looks like. And I'm really just making sure that the water's running uh, because we just got done doing a washout earlier. So I just want to make sure everything's looking good before I get going here. All right, so we get jump in the back. Uh, we jump back in the, into the dump truck. Excuse me, um, and then we can take off here. And now I got to figure out what to do with this dirt. So I guess in my mind, I'm kind of like, okay, you know what? I'll load the uh, dirt into the dump truck, and we'll go take it to some area that doesn't have any dirt. Uh, for me to uh, use in the wash plant or anything like that. Well, then I already started digging over here. So now I got this huge amount of dirt that I need to get out and get it out of the way. But that becomes a huge issue because there's no easy way to dig that dirt, smooth the land out. Well, you could smooth it with a bulldozer, but it comes so weird to work with at that point. Um, so <clears throat> I'm going to dig, try to dig this out so I can get the dump truck in there better. Uh, but it's a little bit awkward just based on the dump truck placement. Um, and then trying to dig it so it stays level at the same time right there. So I'm in a huge quandary now. And I'm kind of getting a little un demotivated with this. Because I really don't know how to play this. I've never been in a situation where the gold is so deep that um, the top layer is worthless. So now i got to deal with the logistics of getting rid of worthless dirt... Um, and where to put it and how to, you know, properly dig, dig myself out of the situation, if you like that pun. <laughs> um, so this is kind of just what's going on for right now. I'm just kind of digging it and then eventually I'll go dump it somewhere, but it doesn't really make sense to do that either. So 
now we're going to take the dump truck over here. And I just kind of don't know where to put it. I'm just like, okay, well, there's nothing up top in the north area of this. So let's just dump it there. It's not my problem anymore. It becomes interesting when you start thinking about how to just dump dirt in random places. And I was never prepared for this situation. I never thought that I would have to run into a situation where the pay dirt is so low that you need to dig dirt and get rid of it somewhere. Um, you know, with the old Arnold claim and uh, when I played leaderboard, you know, the areas both had pretty good amount of dirt on top. Um, or not dirt, but gold on top. So you would just kind of dig the whole thing out. But now I'm realizing, you know, I can't spend effort and money to processing dirt with zero gold in it. So how do you handle that situation? So you can see there, I dump the dirt and I come back in and I'm just like, okay, well, I guess I'll just kind of keep digging for a while. I don't know what else to do at this moment. So in my panic of trying to figure out what to do, I was like, well, what if I get a bulldozer? And the idea here is that I could use a bulldozer and maybe I could scrape the top layers off and it's quicker. I don't know. So the thing is, I never used the bulldozer or the front end loader in this game. Don't know how the mechanics work. And, you know, it's kind of going to be flying by the seat of my pants on how to resolve this issue. So I ended up dropping about uh, 120K and I just buy the bulldozer outright. I figured, you know, maybe this is a solution that I'll need somewhere else as well. So might as well just own it. I have enough money. Uh, you know, it's not going to break the bank at the moment. So we get the bulldozer and we're actually going to um, ship it up. Uh, to, um, sorry, up to the parcel, and then we're going to try to use it um, to flatten out the ground or something. So yeah, I'm in big panic mode at the moment, as you can tell. So what we're going to do is actually get this thing gassed up, and we're going to get it out to the field and show you what happened. So here I am, I finally got this thing gassed up, and I got it out to the field. And my overall thinking at this moment is, okay, so what I'll do is I'll just push it up to get on the bulldozer, lower the blade, and kind of just push all the dirt into the hole that I created with the excavator. Not a problem. So I just keep driving straight, and it'll push the dirt in there. And hopefully what we could do is actually just kind of, you know, narrow it down to where the good gold is. It'll be quicker and easier. So the initial pushes go fine. Um, you know, everything kind of pushes into the hole. Not a problem. But I run into problems that after you kind of like the first initial couple pushes... Uh, the bulldozer doesn't grab anything else. So what you need to do is keep backing up and backing up to dig this dirt out with the bulldozer. And that's not really what I'm looking for. I was kind of hoping that this thing would just help me kind of scrape the ground and, you know, get to the dirt part easier. And it, it's not hard to work with. Um, I found out eventually that you need to hold down the blade key to kind of get it going, but it became a big thing, so I kind of abandoned the idea. So what I opted to try then is to actually go get the front end loader. And I was thinking maybe I can like dig it out and then use the bulldozer or something like that. So I actually run off and I actually buy this. Now, I leave this in here because my wallet is draining a little too fast at this point. So I just dropped what about uh, 250k on two machines that... One I just gave up on, and the other one I'm bringing in, hoping that it'll help me. Yeah, so that becomes a thing, huh? And I'm trying to, like, figure it out. I'm like, okay, well, I'll use the front end loader to kind of scoop this out and then run the bulldozer. Not a problem. But uh, mind you, my operating fees per day are probably about $60,000. Um, that's just from rentals and paying workers. Uh, and then you have the other expenses, like uh, keeping the fuel tank up, um, and getting water if I need it in the, fit, in the uh, water tower. So yeah, this becomes a huge issue that's just mounting. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm looking at my wallet, I open it up and the flies fly out of it. I realize there's like barely any cash left and I'm just like, holy crap. So long story short, as I take this bulldozer over here, or not the bulldozer, my, my front end loader in, it doesn't work either. I, I don't know what I'm doing. You can actually see here, I, I lowered the arm and drove into a hill of dirt, which then put dirt in the bucket. And I'm just like, uh, I need to get rid of this. And then I get stuck in the hole itself. Yeah, I am not having a good time at the moment. I'm just like, what is this game doing to me? I am a total fool. So here I am back at the area and I'm just like, all right, well, so I need to dig down, but I don't know. 
I don't know what I'm doing. And this is where I don't have the experience that some of the other uh, Gold Rush YouTubers have um, that you might watch. I just, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm fussing around. I'm, I look like a rookie on the job at the moment. That They told him to go get headlight fluid and I'm running around. So I'm trying to figure out, you know, how do I dig down with this thing? And is it even worth it? It's a little unwieldy at points. Uh, I think it gets to the point where I eventually just jump in the bulldozer. And then I realize that this was all just a waste of time. It's not worth it. Um, I'm not trying to do anything fancy when it comes to this lot because honestly, I don't want to be here. I want to get to the, the top tier lots to start digging out the real gold at the moment. So I'm just a fool trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, I, you know, I look, kind of look like Todd from Gold Rush in the first season when they're just trying to get by and get some kind of gold out of the ground. So abandon all hope, ye who enter. I just jump back in the excavator and I say, okay, I can just... I could dig down and I'm just going to keep digging down and I could throw the dirt into the hole. Essentially what I can do is the outline, the parcels on the, or not the parcels, but the tiles on the end are useless. I can skip them. I don't need that gold. Instead what I can do is just dig it out and dump it on that one tile on the end um, and just leave the dirt there. So I start doing it from the side and it's not easy because I was using the bulldozer and I made this massive hill. So then I got to kind of climb over it. Not easy to work with at all. Um, so then what I opt to do here is, um, well, I keep trying, obviously. And then I realize, you know, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> you also notice that the, the color is not changing on the plot that I'm digging through. So the gold's really deep down. And that's what was kind of frustrating to me. I've never dealt with this situation. I had to work through it. I know that in the end, I'll get to that gold, but the frustration was real at this point for me. Um, I just had to take a breath and think about it. So now here's the situation where I said, okay, I don't want to keep digging over this big hill. So what could I do? Well, I can actually go back to the way I was digging originally. And what I'm going to do is actually just shuffle the dirt off to the left side. So I'm not going to worry about that track of dirt over there. I'm just going to, you know, dump on it and, you know, put all the bad dirt in there. And so then I'm just like, okay, well, I just got to keep digging. You know, it's, it's taking forever. It's not a game that's like, hey, you know, here's some easy work to do. You know, you got to put a little bit of work in to get what you want. Uh, so this continues on for a while, and I just try to keep pushing forward at the moment. Uh, even though morale's at an all-time low now on this parcel. All right, so then what happens here eventually is as I'm digging, something magical happens that just makes me the happiest man in the world. And I think this is what helps me kind of figure out, you know, how am I going to address this situation without, you know, wanting to just quit the game. So you can see right there, it turns gold, and I'm going to be like, I got to save this dirt. This is good dirt now. Uh, I got to go hop in my dump truck, pull it over, and put the dirt in there. So you can see here, I'm actually getting a little bit of life back to me. Uh, I'm like, okay, let's go get the dump truck and do this. So what I ended up doing here is I decided to just continue with the excavator rather than trying to do some crazy plan to create a road down and back it in. I just said, hey, you know what? I finally got to the gold in this area. So what I can use, I can use this hole to my advantage and kind of work backwards and just dig through the rest of it. So, you know, I feel a little bit better now. I'm clicking buttons, trying to move around. <laughs> so let's see here. Yeah, there we go. I get everything back. I get the dirt unloaded. I still have issues with swapping vehicles. Um, so yeah, what I opt to do there is just kind of keep digging now. And I figured, you know, I can move as soon as this empties out, I just scoop backwards and start digging out the next hole. You know, I already got one started. Uh, I could dig at the bottom and work my way through it and just parcel, uh, parse it, not parse it, sorry, clean it out. Now, the big question I had here is how does the digging mechanic work? So I kind of figured out on my own that, you know, when I hit good dirt, it turns, you know, the color of gold uh, on the land, right? But, and then when I hit bad dirt, you know, it turns gray or, you know, whatever colors. And now the only thing I don't understand is if I start digging at the bottom of the dirt, so when I move on to the next square, 
my bucket's going to hit the bottom. Am I getting all bad dirt in that scoop or am I getting good dirt in that scoop too? You actually see there the color change on the parcel. And I I go, okay, what's going on here? I see, oh, there's still gold. It's just deeper down. I got to keep going basically. So one thing I got to teach myself is what happens with, you know, digging at the very bottom instead of the top initially. Um, so that's one thing I got to address and look into about how to handle these situations. So this just kind of keeps going on for a little bit. Um, and then what happens is I end up processing the dirt and cleaning it out. So we'll go ahead and jump ahead of that. All right. So I've already cleaned out everything from the wash plant and brought it all in here for cleaning. So we start with about 179 ounces of gold and we'll actually work our way through. And I was just kind of looking around, making sure everything was set up correctly. A little dark, um, in the morning, but that's okay. So, uh, the first thing we'll do is we'll actually get the hog pan mats going. And I learned something about the Madden type separator that I'll comment on here in a second. All right, so easy peasy getting those mats in. I'm gonna start washing those. All right, good. And start that up. So, then what we'll do is we'll get the buckets. And then what I opted to do here was actually just to fill it up. Uh, rather than doing one bucket at a time, I just said, you know, I'm gonna kind of mess with this and see what happens. So you can see it's about 24 uh, 24 percent per bucket, just a smidge under 25. So I said, okay, you know, that's four buckets. That's not too bad. That just leaves one left over at the end that I have to make sure I remember at some point. So it's filled up now. We're at 98 percent. I'm like, cool. Now, I never really mess with the magnetite separator when it's that big. So you're going to kind of see something weird and then see something, see things start to click and make sense with me. All right, so this round of uh, mats are, uh, excuse me, mats are uh, cleaned. Now, in the future, what I plan on doing is actually putting um, the cleaner down by the actual, um, oh my, the names, oh, the names are <laughs> escaping me the sluices uh that way i can just flip them out but what i really need is i need a worker to help flip the mats out at the end um so that way i can kind of keep that thing running as much as possible but um so you can see here i'm just like okay let's get all these mats loaded uh, but ideally what i'm going to do is eventually move this all down to the wash plant so i can just you know fix or wash it down there and carry the buckets up instead all right so the mat those second sets of mats are running so i run this and this is where I said to myself, hey, I want to see, you know, what happens if I kind of let this thing run. Now, the first run I get really scared about. Uh, I just said, oh, you know, it's going to start overflowing. You know, I'm going to lose gold, so I'm just going to stop it as fast as I can. And you can see there, you know, I stop it, get a lot of magnetite out of that one. I'm pretty happy. And then I get notification that the mats are done, too. So I'm like, cool. So everything's moving kind of quickly, and I'm happy about that. Now, the only reason I'm doing this clean out and I'm not waiting is because you can actually see how much money I have. I have 142000 and I'm bl blowing about 60000 per day. Um, so I'm just like, holy crap, I need to get money going. I can't mess around at the moment. So that's why I'm just immediately doing a quick clean out because I'm just like, I need to put money in my pocket. need to keep moving forward. You know, ain't no time to waste at this moment. So we get the rest of the uh, little hog pan mats in here. And notice I never flipped the bucket. You know, it's at 54%. I just said, let's, you know, try to fill this up as much as possible too. So then I'm looking around. I'm just like, what do I do with this empty crate? Because that needs to stay here for future uh, uses. So I'm letting that run. And then I'm like, oh, you know what? I need to get the gold on the wave table and get that running. And I'm looking here and I'm just like, all right, okay, that's done. Might as well, you know, get the hog pan stuff or get the mats out and be 100% done with the mat stuff at this moment. Not super thrilling, but you know, that's how the game's played. I'm going to kind of let you just see what happens here uh, through the rest of my clean out. You got the weird, creepy standing mats all in the <laughs> container here. Like some kind of weird ghost movie. I wish there was more lights in this building. It's very creepy how there's only like one light and then it's cloudy outside. I don't get much sun. 
All right, so got a lot going on here. So this is the point where I think I said, let me just see it hit 100% and we'll, we'll, happen. we'll see what happens. So the wavetable's running, got some gold there. I think we said we started with 149 or something like that. So just kind of use that as the rough number. I'm like a check at this moment. So this is when I realized that, you know, it stops on its own. And I'm really excited about that. I just said, okay, I can have faith in this game. I can just let it go as is. I don't have to sit there and baby it the whole time. So then I'm like, okay, well, I need to feed this bucket in from the washer as well. So I need to make sure there's enough room. So what happens is I kind of sit back and I say, let's double check this. Yeah, 100% it stops. So let's go ahead and uh, just stop it. Oh, I think I was going to test it by pulling the bucket out. And I said, you know what? Now it's not the time. All right, there we go. So then I get this running again, and I say, oh, I got to get the pans or the, the mat uh, dirt in there. It's all good. Let's filter that. And we'll let that run, make sure nothing blows up. My little wave table is just running off in the back. And this is when I realized I still had a bucket back there that I never loaded in. So Let's throw that in there. Be happy. All right, so that wrapped up. And now we're just going to cycle through the rest of these buckets to see how much gold we make out of it. Wave tables humming in the background. Now, I've almost got a full bucket of men in too, which is really nice. I need some upgrades in the blacksmith to kind of generate more money. So, zero complaints about how big that, how full that bucket's getting. All right, so it looks like it's going to be about this bucket and then one more. And we'll be wrapped up here. I see gold flowing. Everything's looking good. All right, so not bad. A uh, decent amount of uh, actual gold separated out. So we'll toss it in there and we'll see what the final total is in the end. So just give it a minute. And listen to the sounds of Gold Rush the game. All right, so you can see the money's still churning. So about 200 ounces of gold. Yeah, if I'm remembering correctly, so it's about 200 ounces of gold. A little under, a little over. So now let's head over to the blacksmith and work with that stuff. Oh, I should say we got to head to the magnetite factory first and dump all this in. So when we put this in and feed it into the factory itself, we'll see how much we get. So we're at about 5,200 ounces, so that's really good. Um, what we'll do is we'll actually head over to the blacksmith and um, look at upgrades and then smelt in some bars really quick. Now, the upgrade I really want to get is the one that um, is uh, stops the loss of gold whenever we make a bar. Uh, you know, the more gold we can save from the manufacturing process, the better. <laughs> Um, you know, I'll, I'll take a little bit of time or a little extra pay to make those bars if I could save as much gold as possible. So hop in here and let's check out the upgrade menu. Um, let's see. So yeah, look at through here. I can avoid, I, I'm sorry, I can afford the, um, loss upgrade, which means we save more gold per bar we make. So I'm all excited. Now, unfortunately I have... Um, not enough, uh, magnetite to get any more upgrades. So that's a bummer. I would have liked the time one to save a little bit more time, but it is what it is. So an 80 ounce bar of gold, we can flip into, uh, about 76, 77 ounces, uh, which is really nice. So we run the gold over here and we sell our bar. So we're at 77 ounces, uh, at 92,000 per so I think we were about one, uh, 142,000. And by the time we're done with this, we're at a 494,000. So what about, uh, $350,000 roughly. Uh, so overall, uh, decent. I'm happy. Got money in my pocket. I can push forward now with some more digging and trying to figure out how I'm going to dig out this land as a whole. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Please. If you enjoyed this content, uh, like comment, subscribe, anything kind of helps grow this channel. I really appreciate it and please have a great day. Thank you and bye.